treats and then answer some of the frequently asked questions and then you can also answer questions. And I'll just, I'll tell you briefly that um, when it's time to transition over to the quilt, you're tying a knot right at the base of the cut over there and you're making a four inch cut. There will be members of the Uni Foundation team near the tables to teach you what to do, but each of these blankets will go to a survivor that attends the retreat. Awesome. So thank you so much for that. And also, so I know some of you brought journals. We have a box of them back there. Thank you so much for bringing those. If you haven't and you have time to write an inspirational message in them, it really means a lot to the participants. And a lot of times they'll find one and, and because the, the look of the journal speaks to them, but then they'll find that inspirational message inside and it, it just does something for them. Yeah. So thank you for those of you who have already written in them. Um, so the Unique Foundation, we offer a retreat for adult female survivors of childhood sexual abuse. And there have been some misunderstandings about what we do, but that is what we do. We're not a rape crisis center and we're not a domestic violence shelter. We cater to adult female survivors of childhood sexual abuse, so little girls who were molested. Um, and just so I can get it out of the way now, that we do eventually hope to have groups for males as well. Um, plans, but nothing solid, no dates yet. So we, we do hope to help them too because we know there's a great need for that as well. The participants who um, whose applications are accepted and you can they can apply through our, our website uniquefoundation.org or send an email to questions at uniquefoundation.org to get the link. Um, once their application is accepted we contact them, um, we assign them a date, they are responsible for their travel expenses so they have to get themselves to Utah but once they're here we pick them up at the airport or the bus depot or at a location where we meet people who drive in and take them to our retreat. It starts on a Monday, ends on a Thursday. The first day that they're there, everybody's a little bit closed off, not sure if it's gonna work out okay. And by Thursday, they're crying and leaving their best friends. So it's amazing what happens with them in four days. On Monday when they get there, um, one of the things that we do with them is um, a Japanese art form called kintsugi. Are any of you familiar with that? Um, in, in Japan, instead of throwing broken pottery away, they repair it with gold and make it beautiful. And you can see how that would be super symbolic for the people that attend our retreats. There's also a drumming session. We have a, he's a retired therapist drummer. He's like perfect for this and a, a volunteer. He comes up and does a drumming session with our participants so they can um, get in tune with their heartbeat and the rhythm of their body. And um, there's a mother drum, she's the heartbeat of the group. And then the other participants each have their own drum and they have this That's drumming so cool. session that I've heard amazing things about. I've never actually participated or been there to observe, but I've heard it's awesome. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, they participate in classes. Um, we offer several classes. None of them are obligatory. They're totally optional. They get to choose the ones they want. They get to participate if they want to or not. And of course, we encourage them to participate because everything that we've done is designed for healing to benefit them. Um, they, there's yoga, self-defense, Muay Thai, and I know you're familiar with that now. Mm -hmm. um, journaling, art journaling nature walk they can participate in cooking classes we have a, a gourmet chef there who feeds them the entire time they're there and that's always in the top three favorite things that participants like is the gourmet meals which are all also purposely chosen around healing and making yourself feel good so um, not only are we putting good things into their heart we're putting them in their stomach too um, and I think there's a there's like a 10 o'clock cutoff for the coffee. Just still, anybody needs to be warned about that. But um, the, the, we find that the caffeine kind of throws them off. So yes, you can have coffee while you're there. But I don't, I don't know. I just felt like I should add that. <laughs> you can have coffee while you're there. The first time we didn't have it, and there were a few panicked 
people. So we went and bought a coffee machine. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Did it leave the state of Utah to find one? We drove four miles. No, but we got it. And if they're, when our participants are there, we take care of them. If they need something that we don't have, we go and get it for them. Um, but like I said, they pay for their travel expenses, but everything after that we take care of for them. Um, you talk about how they each have a therapist that's assigned to them. They, they do get a therapist. We have three options, and they kind of, the one that they um, feel most comfortable with is the one that works with them. We offer group therapy. Not everybody wants to participate. We don't say, okay, who abused you and how did they do that? We don't go there. If they want to talk about it, we have the therapist there to help guide them through that conversation if they choose to have it, but we're not here to dig, it, dig it out of you. We're here to take you from where you, where you are and help you get further along your journey to a healthier place. So that's why everything that we teach there is something that you can take back home and benefit from them from after you've been with us. And one of the things that we also do for follow-up care is get you in touch with a therapist in your hometown or a yoga instructor or a self-defense instructor, whatever thing is most beneficial to you or the few things that are beneficial to you, we help you get. Um, so we don't just open you up and send you home bleeding. We we care about what happens to you after you leave. You as in participants. Um, so a lot of people want to know um, how much of each sale goes towards donating to the, the Unique Foundation. This one makes me cry, so just bear with me. We don't have a set percentage, and that doesn't make everybody happy, but we don't want to cap ourselves. We said $5 for every mascara. We only sell so many mascaras, and this foundation needs a lot of money. And Derek and I, as owners, and Unique as a company, are fully committed to funding these retreats for these women. Um, but we are a public nonprofit, and we are required to generate at least one third of our annual operating costs from the public. So every time you round up, and every time you donate from your monthly commissions or directly through our website, it helps us be able to help these women. So thank you so much for what you've done there. Um, I always forget everything I'm supposed to answer. Talk about how much they, they get every month for the amount. Every, uh, on average, every month, you ladies are rounding up $20,000. Wow. Wow. Yes, and I know it's like 37 cents, I yeah. guess. <laughs> You know, like but it, it adds 40, up. 41 cents and about 21 percent of. 21 percent of the orders. I person, I'm not greedy, but I think 21 percent is kind of low. Yeah. So yeah. I would love to see that percentage go higher. Part of the reason is because it's only available in U.S. and Canada. Great Britain, for example, they pay by even pounds, so there's not a way to round to the nearest pound. But hopefully, at some point, we can toss in a pound or you know do some kind of campaign like that that they are able to participate as well but anybody from anywhere in the world can donate through the website so um, we're thankful for the people that do that I can't remember the exact number but we raised quite a bit of money through direct donations last year as well and we're super thankful for that um, what Tammy can you think of any other oh I always forget one of the things that we offer at the retreat is a makeover and a photo shoot. And we don't even Aww. push our products. We don't say, you you know, um, Annie is our photographer and she does the makeovers and has a crew up there. And they love her. They love her. She um, connects with them and does a good job and they feel beautiful. Not only do they look beautiful, they feel beautiful, just like Tori was saying. It, you remember how somebody made you feel. Um, and anyway, the reason that we don't say, Annie, you can only use unique products is because we don't want anybody there feeling like, oh, they spent thousands of dollars to get me here to get me to join. <laughs> like that makes no financial sense. I don't know why anybody is skeptical that we do that, but whatever. <laughs> um, um, somebody was asking how much it costs us per participant. We're working on the cost, the economy of scale and all of that to get it to a more affordable cost without taking away from the experience. It started at about $4,700 per participant per retreat, and it's down to 3,200. 
and we're hoping to get it down to about 2,500 per participant. That'll happen when, I'm sorry, Shalane, can I add something? Yeah. That, that'll happen when we have three groups that'll all be at the same place at the, at the same time. So yes. just have one chef, of course, and, and so we'll, yeah. So and yeah, we don't have to triple the staff, but we so do have to So it's just been one it. group of 10 right now, right? It, right. And how frequently? So I'll answer that. Is that fine? Yeah. Um, so we started with one per month in June and July, and then we didn't do in August and then September, October, we were doing one and then, or October we did two that month, and then November we did three. Mm. And then um, what, that last one went into December, and then we took off for the holidays because people are like, oh yeah, I forgot about Christmas, I'm not going to go. <laughs> and it costs us money if you show up or not, so please show up. If, if you're coming and if you are local and you qualify, please let us know if you can be on the short notice list because sometimes a babysitter will back out and a participant can't come and we have a few hours notice to replace her and we want, we want those spots filled. They're really important. They're valuable, not monetarily, yes, that too, but what we're doing, we want to help as many as we can. So um, this month we're having three and then by April, we are th three a month, three groups a month. By April, we're hoping to have two groups come at a time three times a month. And then by July, we're hoping to have three groups come per week three times a month. So 90 women a month um, getting this help. And you all are making that possible. And I, I hope you know how much we appreciate you for that. It was Derek's five to seven year goal to be able to start this retreat and you made it happen in two years. So um, to say that we are thankful is a huge understatement, huge. Um, the, waiting list? the waiting list has about 900 people on it. <coughs> so hence the reason we're trying to help as many as we can without um, diluting the experience. Um, uh, let's see what else. Random selection. Okay, it's uh, it's all done by random selection. A lot of women want to know: Can I come with my mom? Can I come with my daughter? Can I come with my sister? Um, it it's done by it's chosen by lottery. We don't we have a software that chooses and the participants. That's actually one of the requirements: the fact that we are a charity in public. So we we don't can't, can't just, say just, you know hand select. Oh, you know we'll take her and. But if you're on the short list and you, your name populates, the, the chances of you getting in quickly are better because of the people that drop out. Yes. Um, that's where we do have a little bit of control is finding replacements, but we take the first person that says yes. Um, Some people think that um, you have to be associated with unique need to be a participant. That's right. You don't have to be a presenter. You don't have to not be a presenter. And a lot of people also... Uh, wonder if it's available in other countries not yet but we hope it will be i was reading a thread of comments and somebody mentioned oh that's really nice for the american women i'm like wait a second <laughs> we take anybody that speaks english that we teach it in english that's why you have to understand english to benefit from it but we'll take you from wherever you come from it doesn't matter what country you come from if you can get yourself here and you have an assigned date we will take you and we're happy to do it um Okay, yeah. Can you answer about the application after a certain amount of time? Um, you can fill the application out at any time, and then you get contacted later when there's a spot available for you. And it's just what they do is expire. You don't have to fill it out again. They don't ex no, no, they don't they expire. So eventually you will get to go. Eventually you will get to go. Okay. And I've heard a question too that I don't even know the answer. Do they get the type of confirmation? They get confirmation if they're selected and they get a defined letter that they weren't selected if they aren't. After they have, well, after they I just mean rather than applying, oh. they get some type of confirmation. You know, I'm honestly, I'm honestly not sure about that. I would say maybe not because we get a lot of questions about if you receive my application. Yeah. Um, and to apply is really easy, really quick. It's not a huge process. We don't need to know the details of your abuse. We don't need to know any of that. We just need to have your name 
your phone number and your email address, and that's it. And then once you're chosen to attend, then you can disclose as few or as many details as you want at that point. So the criteria is really easy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And do any of you have questions about it? I answered everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, about the building, the one I showed at convention, how many yeah. of you saw that? Okay, so we were hoping to have started um, last fall, but the, all those family feud water right things are like a, an actual thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just families bickering about water when I was growing up, but um, they're really hard to access. And until we get our water permits, we can't dig a well, and we have to have a working well before we can get our building permits. So we haven't started building yet, much to my dismay, but um, by the time we push that first domino, like all the tile will be selected, like before they even start digging. Um, a lot of these things will already have been chosen. And then the snags that we'll have at that point will be things like that. That tile's not a available anymore. You have to choose a different one. I'm probably overly optimistic. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's how it goes. Yeah. Okay, well, there's no more questions. You can all go to, if you choose to, go to a table and tie a knot in a piece of fleece and the participants will receive these blankets. There's also a little over here with a card with a postcard oh, with thank you. sign. And we will give this to the participants with the blankets. Show them that you're the presenters that help tie these blankets. So thank you so much. Ow, just a shot. Do we need to cut this we'll one? We'll put it aside in case someone comes looking for it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so the knots, the notches have already been cut out of these corners. So all you have to do on all four sides is just cut the cut the strip. So just about a one inch strip, just up to the top of the notch. And then once all the strips are cut, you just tie each strip into a single knot. I'm not going to tie this one yet because then it makes it hard to cut that one. But you just tie each one into a knot and then tie them. That's it. Just quick and easy. So if you wrap around all the edges, yeah. Do you have knot over here? You start there and I'll start here. And there's squares over here. I'm going to get up here. All right, guys, I'm going to.